learning, sharing, and growing. I am at Saigon now. I was at the War Museums. It was a very painful experience to walk through the exhibits and looking at those photos. The war that lasted 42 years ended in 1975, that killed 3 million Vietnamese. There was no reason for a war. They were living underground, there were no plants, no vegetables, no livestock. They were living, digging, really go down to the soil and living underground to avoid the enemies that killed a lot of people. It was a rather painful experience even for me looking through these photos. Painful and I was heartbroken by the number of people that were, they were killed during this war. This is Saigon with 13 million people. It's one of the busiest cities in the world. And people over here work really hard around the clocks. And especially very interesting if you look around and uh, if you look at, especially when the night traders set up their booth, it's something that is fascinating to look at. And uh, from the Vietnam War until today, and this capitalism is very much alive in this country. And money, and money has become a, a very important factor of your lives. Money has become such an important factor in people's lives that I've lost a couple hundred dollars to a group of pickpockets. But it happens in many other cities in the world, but I just didn't see it coming from a group of kids. And I feel pain. It was painful not because of Vietnam War this time, but the money that I've lost. I too became focused on money. Money became an important factor in my life. Well, capitalism is alive. Well, that was really noisy out there. With the change of time and how culture has shifted, for this country it was survival to liberations and soon to become an economy powerhouse for Asians. And money has become ever more important for this country, for the people, and of course for the people in the world. And when money becomes the center of focus, it creates a, a vicious cycle. People work really hard to make a living, to make more money, to buy more stuff, to buy more expensive stuff. And then they work harder to make more money. Will this bring more joy and happiness to the persons? Or will this bring more despair and sadness and worry to people's life every day? But however, nothing can fight this glass of fantastic Vietnamese coffee that makes me happy. Oh, thank you very much. Happy New Year and I'll see you again. Bye.